Welcome back to another video folks. Um, I'm actually starting this video a little bit different um, with a basically a bit of an unboxing. Um, as you can see in front of me, um, we received our Skyleader GPS tracker rings um, by a company called Jixie Angle. Um, they were kind enough with talking with them. They sent me out a box um, of rings, uh, basically to try in our own sort of training, um, just to see how we get on. For those that are maybe new um, to the channel and have never seen or heard of these rings, um, basically this company was started um, in um, where basically they started researching and developing the Skyleader uh, GPS pigeon tracker rings. Um, it was actually sold to Jinxie Angle in 2016 where they finalized basically all the rings um, and got the product manufactured. So uh, this is basically me having a look at what all comes in it um, so this is the first time opening it so we'll see how we go so as you can see um, basically on box the unit that you're sold. Um, as I say, if this is obviously the first time um, you have came across this, um, basically what it is, it's um, a software that basically these rings you can attach to your pigeon's feet. Um, and whether you go training or racing, um, you can as long as the pigeon comes home, um, you can see from the GPS tracking where the pigeon's uh, flight path has been. Um, so I've seen these roughly two, three years ago um, and obviously caught uh, my interest just due to obviously being in the unknown when it comes to when you're training your pigeons. Uh, you know, sitting out the back garden waiting for them and you're expecting them off a certain line and they come the complete opposite. Uh, this will hopefully allow us to rectify and see where the pigeons come from. So within the box you get uh, five live GPS rings with the batteries. Um, so these are the ones um, that get put on the pigeons feet. Um, now, talking with some people, uh, they said about, and, and obviously listening to my own reviews about it, was the ring size. Now, going by that, it is quite bulky on the pigeon's leg, but in terms of the weight, uh, there's really not much weight to it at all. Um, but you get five of these. Um, that can be used. You also get five um, dummies, um, so basically you can attach these on to your pigeon's leg and allow them to get used to it. Um, I would just say from the standpoint of the size uh, would be the only thing. Um, you also get the ring sensor pad, um, this basically connects together with this wire. Um, you download the software that is provided by Skyleader um, and when you download it you basically connect this to your computer and it should read um, the rings and then you have obviously a charging unit um, for the batteries um, to be obviously charged the batteries I think from reading about it, uh, there's about 35 hours or so within a battery. Um, so 
I have yet to go onto the software as yet because I've just received the package so um, I will certainly over the next few days be um, trialing and testing the software to see how it's been used. Uh, again, I just want to say a massive thank you to Django for sending this package out um, for us to try it out and, and see how we get on. So i um, quite excited and I'm really looking forward to seeing um, where the pigeons are going and what line they're taking. Again, it's either going to be a real negative because the pigeons go the wrong route uh, what do you do about it but uh, again just another great insight to like technology being provided for um, pigeons and um, I think between this and, and bending and the clocking system um, it's certainly taking things forward in order to try and best uh, rectify maybe the problems that we have when it comes to training or racing um, and seeing some areas that obviously we could maybe benefit from. So uh, obviously in this video um, we will show these rings and how they've worked and you know give you an inlook um, of the training once we attach these um, to the pigeon's leg. So again, massive shout out to Django and the company for sending this package out. Um, me and my father are very much appreciated. So stay tuned for um, us using them and seeing how we get on. So upon recording all the footage that I've done over the last, I don't know, three days, um, or a couple of days just um, done all the, the recordings uh, took all the footage and obviously now sitting at my computer to upload it and as I've uploaded it and all the clips that I have took where I was talking about you know the rings uh, there has been no audio recorded so um, you think technology is good and um, it's only good if it works so what i'm going to try and do is show the clips and do like a voiceover of some sort uh, i'm not sure how it's going to work out but this is what i'm going to try now so i do apologize um there's just nothing i can do i've traded on this computer i've traded on my wife's computer uh, for some reason just didn't record anything recorded obviously the video but just no audio in, in the background so nightmare but we're gonna give this a go and see how things go it'll give you an idea of how the rings work as mentioned in the box uh, you literally get five rings um, and five dummy rings so the dummy rings can be used for the pigeons um, in the loft and what we done we took some pigeons and um, just picked them at random really and put the rings on their feet uh, the dummies which don't have any of the chip they're just plain blank uh, rings so we put them on to allow them to try and get used to it again I keep referring back to the size of the ring. Uh, it is quite bulky on the pigeon, and as you see, the pigeon will most of the time stand with its foot hanging up. Uh, so maybe it's something to think about for the company, uh, but as I say, weight-wise in the ring, um, there's really no weight to it. Uh, very, very light which is good but just the uncomfortable side of it for the pigeon so so this was just us taking the dummy ring off again as you see it's just blank bit of white plastic and these are actually the chip rings um so as you can see the battery attaches and um, there's a bit of copper insulating 
sort of plate in it um, must be for the signal but um, we're just going to show you how these go on again it's quite a snug fit with uh, these uh, actual live rings um, when you obviously put it onto the pigeon's life ring you literally have to push it onto it so it, it near enough clips in um, and secures it in place uh, and that stops it from obviously shaking about or moving about and that's really it once you attach it um, that that's all you need to do just put the pigeon in the hamper <laughs> at their release point um, obviously each hamper had an ATS ring um, or the sky leader ring on the pigeon so yeah great crack This was me just calling the pigeons down and um, obviously um, we are back to using our normal method um, when you know calling pigeons down uh, we are big believers on using a whistle and the whistle basically gets used from day dot uh, as soon as pigeons get weaned in there and any food gets put down under the floor uh, we use a whistle so uh, everybody's very different in how they approach that uh, some people just call some people leave them to it I know there's maybe the little sort of traffic lights that you would see on uh, tractors and other vehicles of that nature where they have the blinker light um, that can all so be used to let them know um, it's feeding time so yeah that's really it um, 
we are going to move on to showing you what we got on the software. So this is the software that you download for the GPS rings. Um, it is quite basic and quite easy to use. Uh, I didn't even really look too much into the instructions. I just sort of went ahead, put it in and had to play about with it. So it's pretty easy um, to use when it comes to that. So as you can see, our liberation point is the little circles with the red and white lines. And each line represents a pigeon um, that was part of a hamper. Um, so we had five rings, five different pigeons. Um, and as you can see, some did take very, very different lines. Um, on driving home that day, there was plenty of youngsters in the sky watching, going over in bigger batches. Uh, we did end up with one of the rings not returning um, from the toss until six hours later um, it turned up and it sat in a bush just outside St. Field for about six hours so uh, obviously very very interesting to you know have a look at this and see the way the pigeons are coming um, I think I maybe explained this uh, in the unboxing. They are just more on the fact of very interesting to look at where your pigeons sort of go and what line they take. How do you change that line if they're taking the wrong? Well, I suppose if you move more coastal or more inland, it could probably change that line but as you can see there to that highlighted box there basically gives you um all the details of how quick the pigeon was going how high the pigeon was what time of day it was um, and it's very very descriptive in giving you that information and then you have the little finish line um, that basically tells you uh, know where your loft is this is just um portions of uh when the signal pings um it gives you a wee bit more of information at what time it was um the distance it, it was moving at uh the altitude so how high it was and it also gives you the speed that the pigeon was taking um so quite quite uh, informative um, obviously when you plug these ETS rings you have to set the time that the signal starts um, when you're setting the ring up um, again if this is a video that you would like in how to set the ring up um, or the ins and outs of the actual software uh, please do let me know in the comments um, and I can certainly try and do a video uh, with a wee bit more information than that. Um, but this is just to give you uh, a, an outlook really on how these rings work and what's all involved with them. Um, as I say, fantastic bit of kit in terms of learning where your pigeons go and what line they take. Again, when we stand at the loft, we are just basically guessing every time. So this gives you a true indication of where the pigeon is going. So uh, very, very informative. So, and this was just me rounding off uh, the video, really, uh, just to give you um, my overall thoughts on the rings and how I felt they work again I go down just to the size of, of the ring uh, I feel it's it's pretty uncomfortable for the pigeon because they tend to stand with their leg raised or do a wee bit of tap dancing as such with when the leg or when the ring is attached to the leg um, so maybe it's something that in the future that the chips or the GPS device gets smaller, so it's a wee bit more comfortable for the actual pigeon. But um, right now, we are basically getting ready for race one. 
coming this weekend so um, you know the pigeons in general we are okay uh, the training wise as you can see from uh, they're probably not on the right line as we would like um, and to be honest they're not coming in the times so that they really probably should um, but again this is what you're up against with with the youngsters every training toss is a learning day for them and uh, yeah I mean you know if, if as long as they're healthy um, then me and and dad are pretty happy in that sense I just was obviously talking at this point about the youngsters and how I feel things have been going um, health has, has been good um, and we can't complain too much uh, about it uh, just trying to drill them in to what is expected of them you know getting out of that hamper um, and getting down the road to home again you know training is always something that you're just constantly learning with um, especially the pigeons so uh, you're trying to give them as much um, experience as possible and then when it comes to race one it's up to them so this is the basically the class of uh, 2024 for us um, we are pretty happy with how things are as such um, obviously race one will be a big deciding factor for us so uh, which starts this Saturday so please don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell and you'll be notified when we post our race videos so uh, and also if you're interested in the rings it's in the description below um,